No double money this week in Grand Theft Auto, starting the Thursday, the 10th of October, and running through to the next Wednesday, is crate warehouses, warehouse sales, and also client jobs. And this is excellent for making money if you have a crate warehouse, a terabyte, and an oppressor. You can do it without the oppressor, you can't do the client jobs without the terabyte, and you will want to have the drone station in the terabyte to give you the maximum number of available client jobs. It's a bit more of a lonely week this week because um, Crate Warehouse really, you're better off doing it on your own because a lot of the jobs like this one, you're just going to get a single vehicle and there's nothing for your friends to do, but you can always help somebody else and then they can help you. It's how you, up to how you want to play the game. So that's just delivered some more cargo. That's my second lot for this particular warehouse. And because it's double money, already we're up to 160,000 on the sale for um, having spent 36,000. So already in excess of 100,000 profit. And we've only done uh, two collections so far. As always, the crates, you can get either one vehicle or you end up having to have three crates that you collect separately. It may be they start in one vehicle and you blow it up, or it may be that uh, they're already separate on the map, or they get dropped separately. But crate warehouses, I, I find it a fun kind of event because uh, there's a lot of variety in collecting those crates. And then the client jobs, there are four effective client jobs you can do solo. Three of them are much more friendly than the others. And each one has a half hour cooldown. I just did the targeted data, which is the quickest one for me. So the next one on the list would be diamond shopping. See, it's already been eight minutes since I did the targeted data. Okay, you're going to steal a diamond shipment. Fine jewelry. Our client wants these rocks, but she won't pay retail price. I think we can help. Get over there and put some of our technology to use. I'll now, I like to do this using the actual uh, drone. A lot of people just rush in there and get shooting. You can do it that way too. As long as the police don't turn up too quick, you're fine. Um, I just tend to play it with the drone because I like using the drone. It doesn't take very long to do the drone, it just takes a little bit of time to drive to your new location. But again, you've got five minutes cooldown. If you're using just one warehouse, as I'm going to use this time, there's a five minute cooldown like between one collection and the next. Don't rush in just yet. We're doing this calmly and methodically. Use the so there's not a lot of point in doing these jobs in less than five minutes because it'll just give you some sitting around time. You can, of course, fit in a quick VIP mission, a headhunter or a sightseer, whatever you want to do, in between. Okay, now fly into the store. You're looking for a small control panel on the wall that controls the alarm system. The blueprints I've downloaded show the panel in the office on your left as you go inside. Deactivate it, and you'll have a short window to get the case without worrying about any outside interference. As long as you have that panel somewhere within the square, it's going to blow. And what I'm going to do is... Well, let's just try a little bit different. I'm just going to see what happens if I don't take the oppressor. And then try and get back into the... I suspect it won't let me and I'll have to call in the oppressor. So, special carbine. Now. 
You fucking idiot! Help! My buddy's hurt! Got them? Alright, now get them over to our client. They know these diamonds will be hot. So option there's one is... And there's hot. Can I hop back in the terabyte? No, I can't. But what I can do is call in a buzzard. <laughs> this is my slightly damaged buzzard from a previous uh, shot. I should have probably pulled in a different vehicle. But no big deal. Okay, so I learned something there. You can't get back in the terabyte once you've got the diamonds. I was hoping I could and that would immediately clear off my stars. And of course if you've got a friend with you they're going to make the same money you're making on this particular client job. Any of the client jobs you both make the same money. It's just on the cargo warehouse you wouldn't be making any money if you were just helping. You'd be getting the associate pay but obviously the main money from actually getting the, uh, the goods goes entirely to the person who's, who's the boss. This helicopter sounds like it's going to give out in a second. Pop it down in that circle, and there we are. And of course, it's also double RP, so a nice haul of RP for doing not much. So, double money on client jobs, double money on cargo warehouse this week. That's a great way of making some money and you get a bit of variety, a bit more variety than some of the other weeks as well. <laughs>